November we are going to England. Then we have friends with Jamaica and Barbados, even Team Malawi. Are we seeing the African team this time around winning the World Cup? Yes. Uganda is a threat. We are going to fight hard to see that we come close and, and win the World Cup. Thank you very much, Annette. You're welcome. Well, the General Secretary there, Annette Kisomasi, from the Uganda Netball Association. They've defended, they've been the champions, and they've come back again this year to defend their title. Above all, they've qualified to next year's uh, Netball World Cup in Liverpool. I must say a big congratulations. I think they worked so hard for their title, and I mean, they need to go and represent the continent. This time around, it's about Africa. It's no longer Africa Cup. It's about Africa being represented at the World Cup. My name is Amemori Malisawa. I'll be coming back a little bit later. For now, I'm taking you back to the commentators. A wonderful tournament, a wonderful tournament indeed, a beautiful game of netball. We have seen a six solid days of netball being played here in Lusaka. And uh, finally, uh, the teams are set. The die is cast. We have Uganda winning uh, this Africa Cup tournament. They've played six games. They've gained 12 points. Uh, closely followed by uh, Team Zimbabwe that has gained eight points. In the third position, we had Team Zambia that has collected equally eight points. Then followed by uh, Bo Botswana, uh, Namibia, and finally Kenya, which has not collected any point. Finally, uh, confirmation again that uh, Team Uganda has won uh, this Africa Cup. They've uh, returned the title which they won last year when they hosted in Kampala. They haven't won, uh, only won a title. They've uh, garnered both the Africa uh, Championship and they've won qualification to next year's uh, tournament, which is the World Cup to be held in the United Kingdom. That is, to be specific, in Liverpool, if, uh, joined by uh, Zimbabwe. So Africa will be uh, represented by uh, four countries, the, the countries being uh, South Africa, uh, Malawi, uh, Uganda, and finally uh, Zimbabwe. So uh, congratulations to the teams that have uh, qualified. Uh, you might want to know that the last uh, World Cup was held in, uh, the, uh, in uh, Australia in 2015, where the countries that presented the, uh, the continent were South Africa, uh, Malawi, Uganda, and uh, uh, Zambia. So it simply means that there hasn't been much change in the representation of uh, the African continent at, as far as the World Cup is concerned because it's only Zambia that has actually not been there this year and their place has been uh, taken by uh, Zimbabwe. You may wonder as to why South Africa has, has, has qualified to, to the World Cup uh, despite their absence here in Zambia. The reason being that uh, South Africa is ranked uh, highly uh, on the world on the continent um, rather uh, on the world ranking they they are actually fifth and followed by uh, malawi despite malawi not winning this tournament they still qualify to get to the world cup so therefore uh, the the system is that the uh, teams that qualify to the world cup without actually fighting for their positions are uh, positions one up to six and in africa we have uh, two countries that occupy those top slot six so we expect next time that uh, john banda from zimbabwe <laughs> bogeri james nelson from uganda John Bogeri Nelson from Uganda. Manuel Jivera from Namibia.
Griffin Saenda Jr. from Malawi. And Charles Zulu from Zambia. And also Sepia Galis Siwe from Botswana and Chela Tel from Lesotho. They've also received their certificates and they have since left the country because their flights were at noon this, uh, this, uh, last, uh, this afternoon. Thank you so much, Joan. Thank you. And now we'll move on to Africa coaching and officiating framework umpiring. And I'll invite Margaret. Uh, Digan to say something before we present the certificates. Hello everyone. Uh, what I'd like to do first of all is ask you to put your hands together please for the nine umpires who've worked extremely hard throughout this tournament. Well done to them all. In addition to that, the INF would like to congratulate the
certificate presentation to the um, umpiring. Then now we move on to the certificates to the match officials, and this will be done by Heather Glider. Okay, thank you very much. Tekenko officials, I'll request the guest of honor, Mrs. Uh, Best Chelemu, to come and do the presentation of the certificates to the Tekenko officials. Flavius Muchindu. <laughs> Honest Kapembwa. Lydia Muviana Agalasia Malata Patricia Mwanza Martha Kafupi Matthias Nirenda Roda Kavandama Maureen Mbulo <laughs> Henry Tembo Agnes Namukoko Patrick Mwale Shabati yeah. 
Moses Njovu. Lazarus Tembo. Zandile Zulu. Charles Zimba. Felistas Chilinda. Adore Bojuma. I'll call upon the Vice President Development, Mrs. Leticia Chipandu, to present the certificates. Joyce Mwanza. Brenda Mwila. Monica Malwa. Elisha Simutani. Emilia Mendia. Agnes Ginando. Diana Yantoe. 
Lucy K. Mumba. Agnes Bualia. Calonda Naomi Changwe Caro Mono Yvonne Caholo Dorin Casejela Matele Justina Mwale Elton Zulu Miriam Passi Silvia Nachilima Mary Mubiana Catherine Piri Patricia Mkangala Tina Chibawa Owen Mukuni Owen Mukuni Benzunawa Grenja Nombo Grenja Nombo Po Palata Po Palata Samantha Mianda Thank you so much Thank you very much And now We'll go to medal and uh, prize uh, presentations. Before we, we, we do the presentations, allow me to go through the log standing for the tournament.
Kenya is number seven. Namibia, number six with two points. Botswana, number five with five, uh, four points. Zambia, number four with uh, eight points. Zimbabwe, number three with eight points. Malawi, number two with eight points. And Uganda, number one with 12 points. We are the champions of the 2018 Africa Netball Championship. Zimbabwe in the third category to get the medals. May I ask the guest of honor to be upstanding? And of course the high table, the whole high table. Before we go to Zimbabwe, we'll begin with the umpires first. The umpires should come and get their medals. Umpires, can you come forward and uh, get your medals, please? Those are the umpires who manage the, the, the tournament from coming from various countries, Britain, Northern Ireland, Botswana, and other countries. Thank you very much. I will now call upon Zimbabwe in the third category. Team Zimbabwe.
Malawi, get ready. Team Malawi, get ready. Thank you very much. May I now invite Team Malawi in the second category. What a wonderful, exciting, and eventful week it has been. Netball euphoria in the country and beyond. Uh, thank you very much, you players, all the participating countries. You gave us uh, exciting moments. Ladies and gentlemen, and now the champions, Team Uganda. So you can start coming and collect your medals. You can start coming. qualified to the 2019 World Cup. Congratulations. And now the trophy goes to you, Team Uganda. Team Uganda. 
Uganda, who are the champions of the 2018 African Netball World Cup qualifier. Congratulations, uh, Team Uganda, and we wish you well in the World Cup. Team Uganda, can we come for the final photo? Team Uganda, come for the photo. The photo. Champions, champions of the 2018 Africa Netball World Cup qualifiers. Well done. Well done, Uganda. And indeed, well done, Malawi. Well done, Uganda. Well done, Zimbabwe. As you join Malawi and South Africa, who have already qualified to the 2018, 2019 need for World Cup to be held in Liverpool, England. A very wonderful tournament, wonderful experience, wonderful atmosphere in the net for family. Uh, our dear viewers, this uh, tournament has a lot of components that have been attached to it from the day it started on the 12th of August here in Lusaka. We have seen uh, the International Netball Federation conducting uh, courses uh, that are known as ACOF, meaning the Africa Coaching and Officiating Framework, uh, where uh, the coaches, various coaches from uh, different countries have been trained uh, to go and uh, conduct uh, courses. They have been trained as tutors as well as uh, testers. This course was actually conducted before the tournament kicked off and it has seen se several coaches from uh, several countries, uh, especially participating countries, where several coaches were invited. They have been trained and they have been uh, certified to go back uh, to their countries to go and train others and at the same time uh, test them. And Zambia equally benefited from this. And then the second category of uh, officials that were trained were the tutors to go and teach umpires, winning uh, the officiating of the game. Uh, these actually also came from uh, different uh, countries. They came and they were trained here. They've been certified. They've got now uh, that mandate on behalf of, of the International Netball Federation to go back to their countries and conduct and go and teach and test and certify, making sure that uh, the umpires and the other officials uh, in their various countries uh, meet the standard. The other category of officials that were trained were the uh, technical officials. These were the officials that were seen, uh, scorers, uh, uh, timekeepers uh, and recorders. These were the uh, officials that sit at the table as the match of netball is being uh, played. You have seen uh, the ladies and uh, the gentlemen in white. These are known as the, the technical officials. These are the scorers. The recorders, they've equally been trained and certified by the mother body INF. Another set of a uh, group of individuals uh, that gave this uh, tournament a lifeline were actually the volunteers that you've seen in green. They've equally been uh, trained and they were also uh, certified. And this was a packed tournament apart from the teams that came to participate. There were also various uh, courses that were being conducted. Uh, the coaches, trainers of trainers were trained. The umpires, trainers of trainers were uh, actually trained. The technical officials were actually trained. And the last group, which not the least, but the volunteers. We have seen uh, the tournament uh, running uh, from the first day, which was the 12th, 12th of August, which all culminated into the uh, technical officials refresher course and the time man uh, ti uh, managers meeting on the 13th of August. Uh, there was uh, 
African Netball Conference, which was held here in Zambia, where all the participating countries had their conference, in other words, the uh, annual general meeting. And at 14 hours, we witnessed uh, the opening ceremony. And 16 hours, there was an opening game, uh, which was Zambia versus Botswana. On the second game, on, uh, on the second day, rather, on the 14th of August, we had uh, game, four games, Zambia versus Malawi, and Namibia versus Uganda, Kenya versus Zambia, and finally Botswana versus Zimbabwe. On the second day, on the uh, second day of the third day of the actual competition, on the 15th of August, we had the first game, which was played at 10 hours, which was Malawi versus Uganda, 12 hours uh, Namibia versus Kenya, uh, 14 hours Zimbabwe versus Zambia, and 16 hours Botswana versus Malawi. On the 16th of August, this year at the same venue here in Lusaka, we had uh, Uganda versus, and finally today, uh, the final game was Zambia uh, versus uh, Namibia, and finally we have seen Uganda winning uh, this tournament. Thank you so much. This has been uh, in the commentary, Davis Stronger with Annie Mukamba. God bless, and we wish you to see you in the near future. Thank you so much.